Sean, you're forgetting something. I'm Kevin O'Sullivan, and this is Try and Think Custom Tattoo. So today's client is Sean O'Leary from Balvinan in the north of the Cork City. I'm married to Rose and I have two sons, uh, Sean and Craig. I've only known him for a couple of months, seen him around the gym and that he's got an incredible story of personal triumph in, 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 in his own life. He's been described by a lot of people as an inspiration to everybody and that's probably one of the best ways I could describe him. Um, he came to me with this idea for the tattoo, which means huge, huge amount to them. But I'm not qualified to tell that story. The man himself is best. Back in August of last year, um, my wife was diagnosed with stage four cancer and friends of ours got together and they got us a plaster cast of myself, my wife and my two sons' hands joined together. When I saw it, I thought, um, I would love to get this on, on my chest. It means a lot to me. It means a lot to my wife and, I, and my two sons. And um, it will be forever with me. So when we put the design together, uh, after I received a couple of photographs and images of this plaster cast, um, I decided to put it in a diamond configuration so it would sit better on the chest area, just over his heart is where he wanted to put it. The process was pretty straightforward actually, even though I felt huge weight of responsibility for this particular piece because it means so much to him and his family. It, 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 you know, words can't describe how actually how much it means to them. So it had to be absolutely perfect. I met Rose um, back in about 1990, 1989. Uh, both of us worked together in Apple Computers up in Hollyhill and um, we were actually very, very good friends but our friendship developed into something more serious. So um, I'm with Rose about 30 years and this 12th of August coming we will be celebrating 25 years of marriage. All okay so far, Sean? Yeah, perfect. The shot that, it, that you sent me actually gave me brilliant contrast to put together the drawing, so it's, it, it, it's, it's, it's looking sweet so far. We already yeah. started, so all good. So who's who in the design? Right, so the top hand here is my own. This is my wife Rose's hand. Right. Rose is catching my younger son's hand, Kyle. Craig is catching my older son, Sean, and Sean is catching mine. So far so good anyway, because when, when, when you were telling me what, what the meaning of the, the, the piece was about and when I was drawing it up and stuff, I was very, very aware of how important it was to get this absolutely as best I could for you. That's such an important piece, you know? Yeah, yeah. About halfway through, uh, Sean kind of looked a little bit uncomfortable, so I was a little bit concerned as he experienced some pain from the tattooing. So I asked him, are you okay, Sean, there? And he says, oh, no, no, just a little bit of discomfort there, I need to take off my leg. Uh, as you might have got from earlier on in the gist of, 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 of uh, the episode, that, that Sean's actually an amputee. And that's one of the reasons why he's such an inspiration to people in the gym. He has to have, he has to train, and he's lost a huge amount of weight in, in spite of all of this the struggle of, of, of trying to do. So a lot of his exercises had to be moderated in that. But once he got the leg off, he was happy as a clam. Right, so. Okay, we're just starting the dark shading, the final part of the process now. The dark shading of the tattoo on the outside edge will help bring the whole thing out, pop it out. So it's way easier to see the image and it gives a very, very uh, dramatic look to the whole finished product. Then after that, then the last thing I'll be doing then will be put a little bit of white, white highlights in as well to, to make it give it a slight 3D effect. What I like about the whole process, no matter what kind of design work I do, is you, once you start getting into it, you put yourself into a zone 
and the hours fly by. The hours literally fly by because you get so stuck into, into what you're doing, your focus is 100% on what you're at. Especially when it's really going well, or even when it's not going well, sometimes you come up against tricky little problems and then you'll be challenged then to try and fix that. Uh, it's a good it's a good challenge to your skill sets then. But all in all, it's 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 like the best way I can describe tattooing from my perspective is it's like a meditation, it's like a meditative process. So you could literally flit hours past, you wouldn't even see it go. The result was by far, far better than what I could have actually imagined, right? You look at the plaster cast and then you look at a print of what the tattoo might look like. But when it's actually done and it's there, it is just, I'm absolutely thrilled with it. I couldn't have asked for anything better with that, you know, so absolutely delighted with it. That's really absolutely amazing so realistic and it sort of stands out like oh my god I think rose and wine will be absolutely true yeah. you see that cool and again it's um, it's there forever magic stuff mm -hmm. I think rose would probably get uh, the most joy out of it right um, because when we, when we first got the class the class of, of the four of our hands together and um, she was absolutely thrilled but I think when she sees the way the result of this tattoo I think it will really really get home to her um, how much family means and the four of us now not just in class and class but also now on print as well on my body I think she she feel absolutely delighted and thrilled to, to see this stuff it's also symbol to roles to show that um, no matter what happens in the future part of Rose and my two sons will always always be part of me now. I just want to say to uh, to my two sons as well right and um, the tattoo shows um, the four of us four of our family members catching hands together and that's just a sign of unity and um, of family and um, it's a symbol that we'll always be there for each other and um, always have each other's back and always have each other's hands. Always remember that point, family is everything.